Armando here from Armando's Exotic Zoo and um, so I picked up these little random guys here little ivory millipedes so they're pretty cool I've liked I've liked them for a little bit I always talk about getting them so finally I picked some up while we were at Repticon I stopped when I got my leaf litter and stuff like that from isopods I noticed that they had these I thought they were pretty cool and so I got them. I've had isopods for a while, but I've never had millipedes. But the care is pretty much identical. So I'm going to go ahead and set these guys up. I have this little critter keeper right here I'm going to use. I had this sitting around back there. So similar to like if you've seen my isopod videos, I'm going to set them up a similar way. Um, I'm going to actually have some moss across the bottom there because they'll like to dig down for their humidity instead of like going to a humid side. It'll be like more wet at the bottom and then more dry on top. So I'll put this down at the bottom there so that it can absorb when we spray. It'll absorb the water and it'll stay nice and humid down here. And then up top where there's more of just the reptile soil, it'll be a lot more dry. I'm gonna put that there. And it's like all dusty at the bottom. So I'll take that out, pour that in there. That's nice for them. So right there. And you want you want to have like it four to six inches of substrate for them. So I'm gonna probably get close to that four inches here. Something like that. And then again, similar to the isopods, I'll just take this. I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna crunch them up. I'm gonna mix that up in there. Millipedes are similar to isopods. Most of their food is gonna be their actual substrate that they're in. I like using the reptile soil that's already got activated carbon and all different kind of things in there for them. A lot of people will add carb activated carbon into the substrate, but I like the reptile soil because it's already in there. So just tear this up for them. Some are going to be a little bit bigger pieces. And they're just going to be able to eat all of this and it'll give them coverage and make them feel secure. So yeah, that's it. I just got to take them out. I'll get them in there and then I'll show you them once they're in there. All right, so I pulled them out here. I was using these little like tongs with the rubber ends so I don't hurt them. And... Ashley was trying to poke at them because I was telling her I hope these two here aren't dead Which they're not they're just coiled up because that's what they do when they're scared But um, she was poking at them and I told her to stop before she got like inked on and she was like what and she didn't, I guess didn't know um, Millipedes they can like when they get scared they'll like spit up on you and it'll um, It'll stain your fingers so yeah, interesting fact about millipedes. <laughs> and they're toxic too, so like you don't want like, if you have kids or something, you don't want them to eat that. So yeah. I thought she knew that, but yep, yeah, just in case if you don't know that, millipedes, toxic, don't eat them. Don't touch them. <laughs> 
So, but yeah, I just I brought them out here so you can see them. There, there's these little guys. Some of them are smaller than others. They're babies. That one's pretty big already, but little babies here. Hopefully, we've got some males and some females in there, and we'll get little baby millipedes in here. That'll be cool. There's nothing special I have to do. Just put them in there, and if there's males and females, they'll they'll reproduce, and we'll get babies in there. So that'll be fun. So. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed my, my millipedes. <laughs> <laughs>